हाई डी स्टूडेंट्स लेट सी दिस क्वेश्चन दैट केम इन जे एडवांस पेपर वन फिजिक्स इन दर ट्वेंटी दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज फ्रॉम द टॉपिक ऑफ टी आई आर एंड अगेन द क्वेश्चन वॉज लाइक सिंपल एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स वुड हैव डन दिस दिस वॉज अ क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन न्यूमरिक टाइप सो लेट सी वॉट्स हैपनिंग ओवर हियर अ रे एंटर्स इन दिस स्ट्रक्चर फ्रॉम एयर एट एन एंगल थीटा एंड दिस स्ट्रक्चर इज मेड अप ऑफ Uh, two different uh, refractive indices n1 and and n2 value of n1 is has been given 1.5 and n2 is 1.44 it is said that we want ray to come out from this end and uh, so that means ray must suffer tir at every possible uh, junction inside this so what can be the maximum possible time taken by the ray in order that it enters from this ab and exits from cd and uh, speed of light in the vacuum has been given as 3248 now let's see this on the next slide let's call this angle yeah so so let's say so we want this angle to be greater than critical angle then only tir will happen happen right now one thing we realize that this if this is greater than critical angle then tir will happen but we want one more thing that time should be maximum so you if you should think carefully that we want ray to travel as much distance as possible ideally we would have wanted ray to travel like this that means it should keep on traveling in that case ray time will become infinite that means if ray keeps on traveling like that but in this case we we also want that uh, angle should be greater than or equals to critical angle that means if we increase if we keep on increasing the inclination of the ray that means if we keep on increasing this angle this angle such that it becomes just equals to theta critical at that instant tir will start happening just greater than theta critical we can say limiting case mein theta critical so in that case tir will we can say start happening just greater than theta critical and we will not increase beyond that because we want ray to travel as much distance as possible so we want ray to travel ray to remain most like inclination of the ray should be very high but of course it should be not less than theta critical this is what we want and hence in the ideal case this should be in the limiting case we can say this should be theta critical okay so now we can see that sin theta critical is nothing but uh, n2 was 1.44 and n1 was 1.5 so 1.44 divided by 1.5 okay so we can say that ray has traveled this path plus this now this will also be theta critical this path right plus this path so basically ray is traveling like this hence we can say that you know this total length is l so if you see let's say this is l1 so this is l1 by sin theta can you see that this is l1 let's say this is l1 so this is l1 by sin theta let's say this is l2 till here this is l2 so this is l2 by sin theta c right because this is theta c this is also theta c so this will be l2 by sin theta c correct so whole of this path can be write it as l by sin theta c if you think carefully this is theta c this is also theta c this will also be theta c because law of reflection will be followed every time so this is and these will be alternate angles so we can say that whole path traveled by ray will be l by sin theta c right if you can't understand this so we can show it over here so basically this is l1 so this is l1 by sin theta c let's say this is l2 so or you can say this is l2 even if you want if you can say this is l2 so this is l2 so this is l2 by sin theta c This is L three, so this is L three by sine theta c. So you can see that whole path will become L by sine theta c, whole zigzag path. And it is also one more thing. Uh, we can say that it is independent of the fact that whether ray enters from the center or not. Like even if the ray exits like this, then also we are not bothered with that. Like we don't want this information whether ray enters from the center or not. It is irrelevant to us because as you can see, even if ray exits, let's say from here. then also this distance let's say is l dash so this will be l dash by sin theta c correct 
So whatever path ray has traveled inside the uh, uh, this structure, that can be written as L by sine theta c. So now time can be written as total distance traveled, that is L upon sine theta c divided by the speed of the light. Speed of the light inside this structure would have reduced by a factor of mu. So this will become c upon mu. Yeah, n1. So n1 is 1.5. Now just put the values. L was given as 9.6. Divided by sine theta c is 1.44. Uh, 1.5 will go in the numerator. But n1 was already present. So it will be 1.5. And this is 3 into 10 to the power 8. When you solve this time, you are going to get this as 15 into 10 to the power minus 9 seconds hence this t will be actually 50 so we can call this as t dash so the t will be 50 i hope you would have understood thank you